What's going on, YouTube? It's game time, and uh, got another Crisis 2 commentary here for you. Um, I did actually do a commentary on this map already, but uh, I'm going to knock out another one here because this was a particularly good round. Uh, get a little host migration going on at the beginning there. And I'm not really sure what's going on here. I actually spawned in the water. And I could not figure out to save my life how to get out of it here. Uh, obviously, eventually I get out. By the way, that's another cool thing about this game. You can actually swim. There's a couple of maps that have uh, little water spots in them. And instead of jumping in the water and dying like you would on a game like Halo, you can actually jump in the water and just swim through it. It's no, never a big pile, never a big ocean or anything like that, but it's kind of cool. Um, this is Team Instant Action, which is the same thing as Team Deathmatch. Uh, I believe this map is called Statue. Uh, you may be able to see the Statue of Liberty. It's right there in front of me. And, uh, you know, this... <clears throat> I, I'm trying to mix things up with my maps and everything here. But uh, this was a particularly good round. And um, I wanted to do another commentary on this game um, to basically just plead, kind of plead out to the people that um, are looking for a new game right now to really give this game a shot. The, uh, uh, this game is just awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, for you know, the one, one of the things, one of the major things with this game that has probably made people apprehensive is you have the nano suit that has the invisibility, and you have the uh, the maximum armor uh, ability as well, which provides you extra shields you know, when you're getting shot. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sure people will think that these, these things are overpowered. But what they've done in Crisis 2 here, as you see the power slide there, every time you're running and you press B do that slide, you can actually shoot out of it too. But, um, <clears throat> I was just trying to be cute there, I guess, and pick up the dog tags by sliding. But anyway, everything, and I mean everything, in this game is balanced. Um, for every strength, there's a weakness. For example, with the suit, uh, when you use the cloak, um, it does drain your suit fast, but it also makes you move slower. And um, you can't fire your weapon while you're invisible. As soon as you fire your weapon, it overcharges your shield. Um, <laughs> this guy gets away from me, by the way. I never did, never did figure out where this dude went. It's kind of perplexing, but anyway. Um, so it, it drains your shield, it drains your energy level for your suit fast. And you also can't shoot out of it when you shoot it overcharges your suit and basically kind of flashbangs you. So, uh, forces you to kind of switch out of it before you start shooting or switch to maximum armor. Maximum armor makes you move very slowly. Also makes you glow so that you, you're very noticeable to enemies. Um, so everything, everything has a balance on this game. That's why I really, one of the things I really like about it. For every, basically for every strength there's a weakness. Um, so, I still can't figure out this melee thing. I know you use, it's much like default controls of Call of Duty where you hit the right stick, but for whatever reason, it doesn't have a lot of range, and I just don't see a lot of benefit. This here is the orbital strike. Um, basically, the beam comes down from the heavens and just wrecks the area that you designated. Um, I have to say... The kill streaks are definitely not overpowered on this game. Um, you know, I, I believe I get a gunship as, in this one as well. And you know, if you're lucky, a kill streak might get you two kills. You know, maybe. You know, like I just called in that orbital beam and it got me nothing. Um, and that was a five kill streak. You know, like here's up to seven kills. So it really. Kill streaks are not overpowered. The suit is not overpowered. Um, everything is very well balanced. There's no gun that drops you in one shot that's, you know, way overpowered either. Um, or is, nor is there like a noob tube type attachment. This game is just so well balanced. Um, the maps on it are excellent. Uh, I'm still learning a lot of maps. Uh, you'll see in some of my gameplays that I'm putting up. <laughs> yeah, I spawn, I turn and run right into a wall or... <laughs> You know, because I'm really, I'm only like a level 10 or 11 here, so I haven't, I haven't played it a lot. Um, that's changing here over the last day or two. I'm really starting to play it a lot now. Um, 
you know, it's just really, it's just really a lot of fun. You know, it's it's so so much different. Offers more than other games do in the way of gameplay and options. Um, the jump, everything runs so smoothly too. Um, it's just <clears throat> everything is just just works right. They worked out all the bugs with the beta and the demo. You know, after I played the beta on this game, I didn't want anything to do with it. There was a lot of issues. But, um, you know, I had been told that, that Crytek fixed a lot of the problems, so I gave it a shot, and I'm really glad I did. This game's just fantastic. I'll uh, talk a little bit about the gameplay here. Uh, I'm, more, most, I'm using the Scar Assault Rifle because it takes a while to unlock anything good. I actually just unlocked um, another gun that's pretty good before I went to bed last night. So I'll be using that some today. Hopefully have some gameplay on that later today. And, uh, <coughs> you know, I just really enjoy it. There's the, the maximum jump or whatever it's called there. That's just awesome. So... Game Destroyer wanted me to assassinate that guy for whatever reason I couldn't couldn't jump up there. I was afraid he'd turn on me, so I didn't. But uh <clears throat> Yeah, I just I did just unlock another gun, so you will see a variety of weaponry on here. It's just um just the fact that I hadn't unlocked much yet, so this scar is a really good all purpose gun. Um it's just it's good. Long range is good, short range. Um I have to say the perks on here, the perks don't necessarily do much for you. I believe you get them in stages, like you, you get so many kills with aim enhance, which is like a hip fire accuracy perk. Then you, uh, oh, that's my radar jammer. So now they can't. I can jam their radar, but only a certain section of the map. Again, not overpowered. Um, but uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh. So, but they use uh, use the aim enhance, which you know affects your uh, hip fire ability. And I think the more you use it, and the more kills you get using it, then you get the ability gets better for you over time. I believe that's how it works, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But um, you know, I try to. I use my, I use my energy or my suit here for more for sprinting and jumping than I do for the cloak and the uh, uh, Enemy radar the detected. maximum armor. I will put the armor on like if I just get in a gunfight, it's kind of recover from that. Um, he's trying to hide from me. Shame, shame. Um, I really, I still think, even though it's balanced, I still think that the cloak is noobish, kind of like. Uh, the camouflage thing when Halo Reach. I can't stand when people use it. And uh, but as I as I could right into the to invisibility mode there, but I was right out in the middle of the map. You see how fast it drains you? Like I couldn't stay invisible for very long, and you can still see the outline of people when they're invisible. So it's really not as bad on here. It's just in my head. But <clears throat> I'm one kill away from a gunship here, so I'm trying to be a little. A little tactical, a little smart about just running around the map like I normally do. Um, so I'm just looking for that seventh kill. There he is. Give me the dog tag, and I can call on a gunship. So I'm gonna go back here and call it in. And I, how did I not see that guy right there? This is a teammate, but my gunship surprisingly does do a little work for me on this one. I was really surprised. Um, yeah, that's what they didn't like. You see how he shot that guy? He just kind of stood there dead for a minute. I can't tell you how many times I've given away my position for shooting somebody that's just standing there dead. Stay or that doesn't fall. Sometimes when they fall down, it's almost like they fall on their knees and they don't lie all the way over. So you shoot them thinking they're bad guys, and you find out that they're already dead. So, that's a little bit annoying, but you learn to tell the difference because the red thing doesn't show up on them when they're dead. Look at that. Boom, that's my gunship. <laughs> I like that. But anyway, y'all, really give this game a shot. It's awesome. Um, as far as playing competitively on game battles, there is a ladder on game battles. I am really <clears throat> I'm gonna be trying over the next couple days to talk to people in to get in the game so I can put a team together or have uh, 
you know, join a team that's already on the ladder because I've seen a couple game battles matches on this game. It's really fast paced, really competitive, so it's a lot of fun. You know, I personally want to do. I personally want to play some matches on here. It looks like a lot. This looks great. And uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed the gameplay. I'm gonna let the little after game thing here uh, take us out, show you the unbox and whatnot. And uh, hope everybody enjoyed the the commentary. And thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. And uh, I'll keep bringing it. And uh, I'm out.